What is a crucible then to begin with? Crucible, crucibles are containers used to heat substances to a very high temperature. And they come in two flavours, as we can see here. This first one, the sort of old-fashioned type, is actually made of porcelain. Uh, it comes with a lid, uh, and this would be where you'd put your sample. Now, in recent years, we've invested in stainless steel crucibles, which are much more durable. They also come with a lid, uh, and they're a little bit larger, but you can get crucibles in all sorts of different sizes. How do you handle crucibles? Well, when they're cold, there's nothing wrong with using the wonderful tools that are our fingers in order to pick up and put crucibles down. Um, but as we're going to be heating substances to a high temperature, we need to know how to handle these safely when they're hot. And the golden rule here is do not touch. Another very important thing is to use the right tool. So these are test tube holders. They're designed for holding test tubes, like so. They're not designed for holding crucibles. And we need to get rid of our test tube holder. The right tool to hold a crucible is called a crucible tongs. And there are two examples of these here. I'll show you these ones first, the simple type. Um, and the thing about these is that they're just shaped like a bird's beak. You open them up and you put them around. You can pick off lids. Like so if you're concerned that there's something on the bottom of this lid, you can sort of twist it around, put it like so. You can grab the side of the crucible, like so. They're the right type of tools to use. We also have these other type of crucible tongs which have got a bow in them to allow you to pick up the crucible, like so. So the idea with this, if I just move this one out of the way just to show you again, is you need to get a pretty wide grip, go all the way around and then just gently close on the body of the crucible, holding it inside the bow. If you squeeze too hard, that happens, which is what we don't want. We don't want to squeeze too hard, you just squeeze lightly and lift. When you want to put it down, you open these again and remove them. So you have filled your crucible uh, with the substance that you need to start heating uh, and you've weighed it and now it's time to start heating. How are you going to heat a substance in a crucible? Well, the first thing is it's a good idea to have a couple of heat-proof mats down uh, for this purpose. Um, and then we're going to take a tripod and we're going to fit the tripod with something called a pipe clay triangle, which is one of these objects here. And this allows you to rest the crucible in the middle of it and then heat the crucible directly. So once this is all cold, we can handle this. We're going to have the triangle of the, the tripod opposite to the triangle of the pipe clay. And then we're just going to rest it in here and twist the wires over so that it's securely held in the tripod. You should be able to force down, and there it is. I'll just adjust this one a little bit to make sure that's really nicely firmly held in. Now, then you need to put in your crucible. So I would have this just on one heatproof mat, and whilst it's still cool, I can move the crucible into position and I want to try and make sure that it's absolutely vertical uh, when I put it in, which it is. It's also a good idea to have the lid lip facing you so that you can easily remove it with the tongs as needed. So then you get ready to start heating. We want strong heating of the crucible here and so we just move the Bunsen burner underneath and we check that the flame is exactly under the centre of the crucible. So that's what we want. So let's imagine that you've been heating it for some time uh, and now you've decided you've heated it for long enough, you want to try and cool it. So how are we going to do that? Well, first thing we do is remove the heat source. Take the Bunsen burner away, put it back onto the safety flame. And then we're going to leave it for about a minute to cool down in the piped clay triangle. There's no need to remove it and actually the air circulating will help us to cool a little bit quicker. Now let's say we've now waited for our time, uh, we're then going to collect the crucible assembly. Now if you've got this type of crucible tongs, uh, then your life is made a lot easier uh, because you can lift the whole assembly at once. Now when we're going to do that, we're going to put it onto a balance. Um, now if you've got a balance nice and nearby like this, uh, then you can uh, just move it straight onto the balance. If you don't, you're going to have to put it onto the heat proof mat and then prepare to move it over to the balance once it's cool. 
So again, we open wide, all the way around, grab, lift, and then place down on the balance. Remove the tongs to get the reading. Now you might be dealing with a situation where you've only got these tongs present. So how are you going to do it then? Well, you lift the lid, and then you're going to place the lid either there or on a heatproof mat, such that the upper side of the lid is facing upwards, because you might have some material on there that you need to weigh. Then you're going to transfer the crucible by itself, holding onto it by the corner. You place that on the balance, and then it doesn't matter which way up it goes, you place the lid on the balance also. Finally, a few things about what to do if things go wrong. And the number one, there are two pieces of advice here. The first and most important piece of advice is not to touch the crucible with your hands. The second is not to panic. You're not really time limited. If you make a mistake, don't feel you have to solve it immediately. Be calm, go through the steps carefully, ask for help if needed, and that's how you'll make sure that you remain safe whilst you're doing this. So, Let's imagine that you're doing something like this. You've gone to pick up the crucible and you have picked it up a bit candidly and it's fallen like that. So first thing to do is we get rid of the heat source. Get rid of that Bunsen burner, turn it off. Now at least you're not going, you can access the area freely. So then what you need to try and do is just rescue the equipment gradually. So I'm going to pick up the lid I'm going to just put the lid down facing upwards and then the crucible, again I come in pincer style, pick this up, get it positioned, nice and vertical, carefully replace the lid, adjust if necessary to make sure it's as vertical as it possibly can be. Carefully remove these tongs. See, it's a little bit fiddly, but there's no need to panic. Okay. And there we go. Might take a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Now the second mishap that might happen to you whilst you're doing this is imagine you've collected your crucible and then on your way to your balance it just drops like that. You just drop it. And you've dropped the lid so that it's actually fallen face down and sometimes maybe the crucible's over like that. Well this is where two heatproof mats really helps but again don't touch and don't panic. So resist the urge to try and push it back up but instead just calmly lift that bit up there Yes, you're going to have lost a bit of product on the bottom, but better a bit of inaccuracy than a hospital visit. So how are we going to deal with this? Well, you push it just carefully to the edge of the heatproof mat, trying to get the lip over the edge. Then we just pick it up, pop it back on, and we're good to go.